Thanks for inviting me to this uh, 5G, 6G Congress to the New Delhi. And uh, I am Professor Subara from Mahindra University. And uh, we uh, are working on the 5G and beyond uh, uh, in Mahindra University. And we have the lab uh, called Wireless Innovation 5G Lab. And we are developing the technical solutions and by establishing the labs for the students. And uh, uh, it, it is basically uh, the, in the, when you come to the education sector, the 5G, you know, the use cases like, uh, 5G use cases like, uh, uh, I mean, how you create the test beds, right? And how you create the uh, virtual labs, right? And uh, how you create the, uh, uh, mostly like, I mean, you're making like more fully digitization of the, all the 5G labs. So that is so important. So we are working on in, in our university in uh, seriously in developing the, uh, the the labs, 5G labs. We are actually looking to collaborate with the industry. Uh, I mean, especially the, the like I mean, the Reliance and Airtel and Vodafone. As I I met a few people here, and uh, you know, we we want to create a, a, our private 5G networks, <coughs> campus networks. So where I mean, the students can have a real time experience of. When you deploy a network, I mean, they can uh, work on all kinds of technologies from the uh, a file layer and a Mac layer and up to you can go into the network layer and even link to level uh, communication link performance, the students can explore on it. So when, you know, that helps a lot to the students, especially in the education sector, once they have the real-time experience in the campus. It is like, you know, when you collaborate with the, 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 the retail course, right, they'll help us in setting up the, uh, in addition to the 5G labs and uh, uh, even uh, the, the collaboration helps in not only setting up the 5G labs and uh, I mean uh, like creating the advanced uh, technical solutions uh, even at the standards level also. So that's what we are looking into the uh, you know collaboration with the telcos. Yeah, it's, it's actually the, that's what as I mentioned just now right we are uh, I mean seriously working on developing the full pledged the 5G and beyond uh, wireless communication I mean the technical the labs and where uh, the, the students can learn and they can experience the real-time experience and that to, uh, to uh, name, I mean, especially like, you know, virtual uh, creation of the labs and uh, fully digitization of the labs, right? And that is so important actually. And that too, in, in our universities, we, the, we have the students who are working on the uh, vehicular communication networks and the, the, we have the students working on the um, the A enabled wireless communication. We are developing a lab which is basically the uh, A enabled wireless communication lab because the 6G, I mean, the part is called the 5G and beyond that is 6G, it will be mostly the distributed MIMO and the uh, sensor based, completely the sensor based, the, the distributed sensors everywhere with the A involved in that. Okay, it's so basically A plus sensor based, that's what you're going to be uh, 5G and beyond, and we are, uh, uh, we are working towards achieving that. The skills means, I mean, first the students uh, have to be, uh, I mean, upgraded with the technologies, what is going on now, and they should understand the what the industry needs, what the industry is expecting, and they should uh, uh, learn according to that, means they should understand what the industry needs. I mean, the, even that, that, for that, actually, the uh, the curriculum uh, also uh, has to be upgraded because this, uh, uh, in addition to the fundamentals, right, and uh, the, the students uh, should be able to understand what the industry requirements, right? Uh, that is that plays a huge role actually because uh, it, it's like you know real-time experience uh, uh, is always important for the students. In, uh, in addition to the theoretical learning in the classroom, so the realistic approach, I mean realistic uh, experimental learning is very much important for the students.